like a goddess And she talks so sweet It's like I can't believe I'm the one that she wanted uh, And if I'm really being honest Hi guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Artivian Munyazi. For the new one and for the returning subscribers, thank you, thank you for clicking and choosing to watch my video today. So in this uh, video, it has uh, spent with me uh, some evenings. Uh, there were just two evenings. Um, I decided uh, to show you how my evenings are uh, they are different uh, not all evenings are the same some I have a lot to do some I have uh, many more things to do some I have a lot of things to do but I just shot I just decided to uh, record for you just two of them and um, on this day it started uh, on this evening I had come from picking the baby girl so I was giving her a snack to bite I had some uh, carrot cake uh, in the fridge and that is what she asked for so I was going to give her a carrot cake uh, some yogurt and um, a few uh, some few pieces of apple fruit uh, yeah, and that was going to be it because when she comes out from school she's really really uh, hungry because on that particular day she was really really hungry and I just decided to give her something that will fill her stomach before our supper was ready so I hope you're going to enjoy the video I hope you're going to watch till the end and kindly don't forget to like share and um subscribe if uh you haven't subscribed yet so after that guys uh i was going to marinate my chicken uh, kidogo on this day i was going to make some rice some tamarind chicken um and some steamed veggies on the side so I was just here marinating it for a few minutes and I used some garlic paste, some uh, gin, some garlic paste, some vinegar and then I added some turmeric and some garham masala but if you don't have those you can just use uh, black pepper only that is okay so this day I just decided to use something different I've made this recipe before so if you want it uh, in details or if you haven't watched the video it's somewhere among my videos so that is what we are going to have mm -hmm for our uh, dinner so i'm going to marinate it and let it stay uh aside kidogo as i make my rice which was just going to make a uh, simple rice uh just added uh my white rice i just added some carrots uh some onions and some peas and that was going to be it <laughs> She got a body like a goddess And she talks so sweet It's like I can't believe I'm the one that she wanted uh, And if I'm really being honest I know I could be Everything she needs If she let me get on it yeah. So come here baby Listen close Hold me tight Don't let me go Girl you know that I want you all my life
she wanted I can never turn her down Oh, I probably should've kicked her out by now But you're the finest of them all Made me lose my self-control All I wanna do is make you feel alright You drive me crazy, turn me on And that's the reason I'ma let you go shallow frying uh, the chicken and making sure it's uh, golden brown uh, you can make it as much as uh, golden brown as you want uh, I'm going to put my onions and then I'm going to fry them I'm going to add uh, some garlic and then after that I'll add some green uh, capsicum because guys uh, here I made a mistake I'd already put uh, the onions I'm not a fan of a lot of oil so I made a mistake here and this is broiler chicken in a kwanga tupia na mafuta it produces its own oil so you'll want to put a little bit of oil like just for frying uh, the onions only so don't put much so as I was saying after putting the garlic I'm going to put some green peppers and then I'm going to let it um steam for a while then i'm going to add uh, some uh, what is it called some tomatoes and when you're adding tomatoes you can add them uh, either blended or not blended uh, this day i just decided to blend them for them to cook uh, to cook down kabisa because the tomatoes i have they are not really mm -hmm. cooking down so i just decided to uh, blend them so I don't get to see the skin or you can just skin the tomatoes before you put them in yes Same, yeah. this 
so guys after you've put uh, your tomatoes and your tomatoes are fully cooked you're going uh, I, I um, the only spices I added were some cubes and yeah that was the only spice actually added some cubes then I put some uh, tomato paste and then after that I added the, the tamarind extract and then just uh, tested for salt and then put the meat so they can cook uh, well and then I'm going to cover then uh, later I wanted it uh, to be smoky if you just don't want it to be smoky you don't have to do this part but um, I've tried both of them uh, smoky or uh, uh, without uh, the smoky uh, part but uh, with the smoky part it really tastes uh, better so you're going to put some onion with some oil uh, and then you're going to place your charcoal and then you're going to cover it and then it's going to have that uh, nice uh, smoky flavor it was it was really nice with the smoky flavor guys uh, you can try with the smoky uh, flavor you'll really really uh, like and enjoy the meal so next guys i had uh done some laundry uh during the day and i it was a little bit cold on this day but and then it was about to rain so i had clothes that had already dried completely and i had some that hadn't dried so i decided to just go choose the ones that are dried and um completely and i uh, just uh, bring them inside the house but the ones that weren't dry i just uh, left them in the hanging lines and this is because uh, the hassle of uh, taking them uh, all to the house and then the following day um, going to hang them again uh, i didn't want that so if they hadn't dry i just left them there they got red on and then they they dried again so yes guys so that is what i was going to do as uh my food or my stew simmered away so yes
down back to the house and uh the steel was already ready so i just removed uh, the charcoal uh give it gave it a little bit of a stir and then i garnished uh the chicken stew with uh, some coriander and that was it So guys after the evening uh the last evening after we've eaten uh that was it i washed the utensils off camera or i didn't or i didn't wash the utensils that day i was feeling so tired so this is a different um evening and i'm just going to show you what i made on that day and on this day i was having can i call it a traditional food or something uh from my mom's uh native side um i don't know what to call it it's a sort of mukimo but uh we call it uh kimanga in my mom's um native uh, language so it's just uh sweet potatoes with some cereal it's not beans uh we call it soko or is it kunde i i i have no idea what it's really called but i think it's called kunde uh yes so we mix it guys it doesn't have any gas i don't think kundes have any gas so personally for me or for us they, it doesn't give us any gas so it's okay so we mix them together uh very just boiling and mixing no adding uh no putting no juice in it no onions or anything so i'm just going to peel the the sweet potatoes then i'm going to boil them but if i didn't have the kundes uh, pre-boiled i will have boiled them and then after they have boiled uh for a few minutes i was going to pour the water and then i'm going to return and let it continue boiling then after uh they're a little bit uh cooked i'm going i'm going to add some uh the sweet potatoes but here i'd already pre-boiled the kunde and um or the soko and they were already ready so i was going to start uh with the sweet potatoes On the side guys i was going to make uh some uh beef stew uh, you've seen me make this beef stew uh, before so many times guys i like it personally i like it because uh i'm going to put coconut at uh, the end so it's really creamy it's really nice it's different uh to the normal stews we make so yes and the reason i do that is because we don't want um the kimanga stroke the mokimo to be so dry so here i was just checking if uh the potatoes were almost uh done so i could add uh the soko guys if you have seen guys kindly tell me what are these things called i know they're called soko or kunde i am not very sure but yes so i'm going to add it for it to pre-boil with it as i continue uh making my stew
guys after a few minutes uh, i drained uh, the water and now it was time for me to mash it uh we like this uh mokimo number one it's because because of the sweet potatoes it's kind of sweet it's not that dull and yeah we have a uh, different um uh mokimos in the native language like the way we have uh the mokimo that we have zoyad from the kikuyus and this reminds me of my late grandma we used to have this with uh some strong tea mostly in the morning guys it really really slaps kabisa kabisa like in a slap like uh something else but yeah and it also reminds me of my mom uh she really loves making this i learned this from her so yeah i'm going to mash it first uh with that uh I don't know is it mortar and pestle I don't know that thing and then I'm going to come in with uh that with a muiko and then make it making sure they have all smashed well na zote zime uh, shikana vizuri let me talking swahili guys zime shikana uh, vizuri as in they have come no zime shikana vizuri guys and then yeah that is it it's so simple to make and it's so nice yeah And if you have watched until this far, thank you, thank you so much. As I said uh, in the beginning, my name is Artivian Minyazi and I do my content around homemaking, motherhood, cooking, cleaning and everything uh, in between lifestyle here and there. So I hope uh, I am worth you watch and i hope you're going to consider subscribing if you haven't and if you haven't liked the video kindly consider uh, liking and sharing me out if you can as had finished uh, making dinner uh i decided to make crepes for the baby girl because that is what she was going uh, to have the following day as uh, she was going to school so uh to make my work easy in the morning i just decided to make uh, them uh, at night so in the morning it's just waking up warming them and uh, eating and getting to go to school guys i do this so many times uh, but this day i just decided to add a little bit um of vanilla most of the times i just uh, make them without uh adding any spice or any uh, essence so i added some vanilla and then some egg, an egg and uh, some milk and a little bit uh of water and that's it and oil So 
that is what I made guys uh, some steamed cabbage some stew and some my kimanga on the side and that was the baby's uh, crepes for the morning it was really nice but before we sat uh, to eat I had to uh, clear the sink and as I said before guys sometimes I like doing this so if I sit down I just sit down so we have I have a few uh, utensils uh, in the sink and not uh, making the sink so crowded up and that is what I was going to do for the evening so we can call it an evening So guys if you have watched until this end thank you thank you so much i really really appreciate it and i really appreciate you see you on the next one and kindly don't forget to leave a comment on the comment section and don't forget to leave a like